All right, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing which parts of the Titanic that I think they will eventually be able to recover. And my hypothesis on this would mainly be, I think once it collapses and all the debris is there, it's going to make it a lot easier to take off sections of the outer portholes and things like that. And that's when they're really going to be able to recover it. Obviously, that brings in the question, if it's a graveyard, should you touch it? But they have already recovered several pieces, including the big piece that I'm sure everyone knows about, the sea deck portholes, along with a gangway door that fell off in the mid-90s. They recovered that with the glass still intact, so that is pretty remarkable. I didn't even know that was recovered like that. I mean, that's beautiful. So I'm going to start with the stern, just taking a look at it. Everyone wants to see the propellers get recovered. So this is the recent stuff we have on the stern. It is completely destroyed. It looks like, you know, a massive disaster, a huge mess. I don't think the propellers are going to be able to be saved. They're just in so deep. And the other problem is once the kind of area above them collapses, it's going to bury them even deeper. And there's just going to be a bunch of debris falling on top of them. So I don't think the propellers are recoverable. Even though they do look like they're in relatively good condition, there are some portholes that possibly could be recovered from the stern section of the ship. It just depends on the way it collapses. Right now, it is just a minefield of debris and mess. They would have to really go over everything. I don't think it's really worth it right now to focus on the stern in terms of recovering stuff. I would mainly say the main focus should be on the bow and the estimation by 2030 or maybe a little bit later, the bow will collapse inward, which will maybe enable areas of the kind of outer wall where the portholes are and where the windows are and maybe even like the promenade on windows, maybe sections of that would fall off and you can make an argument that we should bring those areas up because at that point the Titanic there'd be nothing left it would just be a collapsed mess of debris and it would be better to save it and it would be better to save it looking at the interior I would love to see them try and bring up a few different light fixtures maybe bring up some of the tiles from the Turkish baths not really sure how that could happen you know with a robot down there maybe they would fall off or something it seems rather unlikely unfortunately they'll be able to salvage any of that stuff you know we haven't seen what the Turkish baths looked like in around 20 years so I would imagine they're probably in worse condition but but they might still be recognizable considering, you know, in 2001, about almost 100 years after the ship was down there, they still looked good. So the interior, I would say, there's also some first class doors that intrigue me that are still together that possibly you could bring up. It's just going to be tough to bring any of that stuff up because you have to go down and in with a robot controlled and somehow recover it. It seems almost impossible. So I think the best bet for Titanic in terms of saving it, bringing up any more big pieces, maybe like an entire wall of portholes, it would be a massive project, but it can be done if the ship collapses the right way to where it all becomes debris and that's how you would kind of bring it up. Another interesting factor when you look at the high HD images of the first class, you know, B deck rooms, the square rooms, they also still have the glass as well. So I do think recovering some of those square windows would be really sweet. It does seem like a long shot because they would have to break off some way unless you're able to somehow bring machinery down there and cut them off, which seems almost impossible, especially, you know, with the sediment right now surrounding the Titanic with the general public kind of being angry about the whole submersible thing. They're not going to want people down there. I guess it doesn't matter because this isn't going to happen until 2030. And at that point, I do think public opinion will shift I know there's legal stuff they have to work on to be able to lift these pieces, but by 2030, if the ship and the bow section continues to deteriorate to a point where it's unrecognizable, maybe sections of the ship break off to where you can recover them. 
And the other thing that's intriguing, you know, maybe as sections break off, they would open up rooms. I don't think that's likely. I think it's just going to pancake. Each deck is going to pancake on top of each other, and it's going to collapse that way, which would make it virtually unrecognizable on the interior. You also have the anchor there. You know, that would be crazy if they somehow brought that up. You know, how much money would that cost? The anchor of the Titanic. It's still there, and it's above the mud line. I mean, the mud line is so deep. It would be cool to try and see the actual structural damage because you know, another cool factor to think about, somewhere buried below the mud is the hole that the iceberg created. It has to be there, you know. Imagine if we could somehow find that, but I don't think that's going to happen. They're not going to dig it out, obviously, so that's just going to be buried forever, and we're never going to be able to see it. Uh, but if they were somehow a able to bring the anchor up, that would be pretty remarkable. I mean, all of this seems like it would cost so much money. The The easiest way to do it would be to recover little areas that are like outside in the debris field uh, that don't weigh very much and are really small. The other thing would be you just hope, kind of like the big piece, you hope it breaks out or that, that D-deck gangway door because that D-deck gangway door broke off. It was originally on it. They went down in the 90s and saw it attached to the ship and then it broke off and they're like this is so easy let's just grab it and go we don't even have to take it off of the ship and then you also have to factor in you don't want to drill into the ship at this point uh it would almost be impossible that deep into the ocean anyways but people would view that i'm sure as very disrespectful when the wreck actually collapses i think people are going to be a lot more open to trying to save areas of the ship before the entire thing just gets completely overwhelmed by bacteria and literally eaten away because that's what's going to happen to it also you have the rails you know right at the front of the bow section i think honestly those could fall off and if they do that is such an easy recovery because they don't weigh very much they're together and to me that would be a really easy thing to snatch and bring up but when it comes to the interior any type of recovery in there it would be so hard. You would have to somehow use robots. We would be banking on the ship breaking apart and just saying, you know what? The ship's already broken. We need to somehow save these pieces and put them in museums for people because the thing is already unrecognizable. So at what point do you say, let's at least save some of this history? We understand it's a gravesite, but the thing is done. We have to at least get something from it. They've already taught, they've already brought pieces up anyways, and they're on display. You know, everyone makes a huge deal about that big piece, but imagine if we could get an even bigger piece. Imagine if we could get like four or five of those square windows in a row together brought up. That would be remarkable. Uh, I'm not sure how possible that is. It would have to somehow break off in the right way. But I do think in the future, the most popular area of the ship to try and save would be like a porthole section or like an A-deck Promodon window section, just because it seems like the easiest thing to bring up. Some of these other things, you know, any of the wood is just so deteriorated and so weak, it would be extremely hard to even move it without it just crumbling. Like the only thing you can bring up is the outer wall where the portholes are. And it seems like that would be the most likely scenario where it would stay together and you could bring it up. When it comes to the Grand Staircase area, I don't see, I mean, I, you, there is like a light fixture. I, I'm guessing that light fixture that was in the Grand Staircase probably already fell. It would be sweet if they somehow got that, but that's just so unlikely. There's just nothing left of the Grand Staircase, unfortunately. And it's like the only stuff that would be salvageable would be the areas that fall off during the deterioration process. So uh, that's just my opinion. I do think they will snatch some stuff, probably even bigger pieces than the current big piece, but they're going to need the ship to break down more because right now there's just no way you're getting anything off of the bow section, you can't drill into it. It's just way too deep and like take a piece. That's just not going to happen. You need to get lucky and hope areas of the ship break down and get to the point where they break off and you can just grab them off the ocean floor like they did with the big piece. So we'll have to see what ends up happening, guys, but that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.